Hey, the 2020-21 NBA season tips off tonight. And during this very, very short off season, we saw quite a few teams come out with new uniforms and logos in preparation for this season. Now, I'm not talking about the city uniforms. I'm not talking about the earned uniforms. We already saw those. Every team gets a new one every year. That's boring. We're talking about the new full-time sets, the new icon jerseys, the new association jerseys, the new statement jerseys, the new logos. Several teams came out with new logos this soft season and uniforms, as well as introducing classic edition uniforms to be worn for a select amount of games this upcoming season. So here, we will go through team by team and show you all the changes, all the full-time changes, as well as some of the other logo and uniform quirks that are new for this 2020-21 NBA season, which again, starts tonight. The first change we'll tell you about quickly is a league-wide change. It applies to all the statement uniforms across the league. The swoosh Nike logo from the statement uniforms is gone, replaced by the Air Jordan logo. You saw it on the Hornets uniforms and the All-Star Game uniforms in years past. Now it's across the league, statement uniforms only. Here's the statement from Nike and the NBA discussing the reason why they made this change. And then uh, before we get into the team-by-team -team breakdown here, well, let's take a look at the throwback uniforms that'll be worn this season. The Mavs are wearing that green jersey more than their regular uniforms, actually, during the first half. The Nets going back to the tie-dye look of the 90s. The Grizzlies celebrating the 20th anniversary of their first season in Memphis. The Lakers acknowledging the 60th anniversary of moving to L.A., and the Golden State Warriors bringing back the city uniforms once again for their 55th anniversary of moving to the Bay Area. All right, we kick things off on the team-by-team -team review of this with the Atlanta Hawks, who have new uniforms, new logos, and a brand new color scheme. The big change to the color scheme is the return of yellow, a hue that was sorely missed in the overall look of the team. The Atlanta Hawks have replaced that old electric volt neon green, whatever you want to call it, with this brand new legacy yellow. Overall, it's a fairly clean and simple look, which in an era of overthinking many uniform design is appreciated. Each of the Hawks' new uniforms has either Atlanta or Hawks arched across the front in collegiate style lettering, the player's number below in the same font. Stripes run around the collar and the sleeves and then continue down each side of the uniform to the leg of the shorts. A new secondary basketball logo is on the waistband of each of these new uniforms and the team's retro-inspired Pac-Man logo has been added to the side of the pant leg. Introduced along with these new uniforms is a series of new alternate and secondary logos. The two new alternate marks both have a retro feel to them. On the red icon and white association uniforms, we see a logo that is a simple single colored basketball with hawks written across it in the same collegiate font seen on the jerseys. The new black statement uniform incorporates a red and yellow version of this logo with ATL in place of hawks. As we mentioned earlier, both of these new logos are being worn on the waistband of the shorts on their respective uniforms. So once again, there they are, your new Atlanta Hawks uniforms for 2021. Who wants good news? I got good news. The Charlotte Hornets are bringing back the pinstripes. Not just single pinstripes, double pinstripes. Twice the pinstripes, twice the fun. The Charlotte Hornets first introduced pinstripes back in their very first season in 1988, but they didn't go to double pinstripes until 1997, a look they kept with them until they moved to New Orleans in 2002. When the team came back in 2014, no pinstripes. What's the deal? I don't get it. You know what? I'm going to say it, didn't feel like the Hornets were back until this very moment. Those uniforms needed the pinstripes. And look at those patches on the side of the shorts. The Charlotte Hornets look like the Hornets again. This was a two-year collaboration between Nike, Jordan brand, the Hornets, and Rare Design. And they nailed it, hit it right out of the park. Good job to the Hornets. This is their full-time set, not a here and there throwback part-time. This is it. This is what they're wearing every game. The Hornets look like the Hornets again. They look amazing. Way to go. I can't wait to see these on the court. Next up is the Toronto Raptors, who this year will be wearing new uniforms, very heavily influenced by the uniforms worn during their 2019 NBA championship run. The Raptors clinched the championship while wearing the Chevron style jersey. Their championship rings incorporated the Chevron design. Of course, it said North across the front instead of uh, Raptors or Toronto. These new uniforms will say Raptors. They won't say North. 
So uh, let's get to it. Let's start breaking down these uniforms one by one. First, we will start with the White Association Edition. And as is the case across the NBA, all association uniforms are white. Previously, they were known as the home uniform. The NBA doesn't do home and road anymore. Instead, we get association. Here it is, a white base with a red chevron across the front. Raptors is placed within that chevron in the chevron shape in white with black lettering. Player numbers below in red with black trim. There is no trim around the sleeves or the, or the uh, collar of this jersey. The team's official motto, We the North, is placed at the bottom of the jersey in red. Looking at the back of the jersey, player's name is red. Number is red with black trim as it is on the front. And, of course, the Raptors championship patch goes above the player name on the back collar. Moving on to the red icon edition jersey. It's red. The chevron is black. The uh, team name is red trimmed in white. Player number is black trimmed in white and We The North is again at the bottom this time in black. Like the uh, white jersey, there is no trim around the collar or the arms. Back of the jersey, player name is white. Number is black with white trim and of course that championship patch is there. Moving on to the statement edition uniform. This is where things get a little more interesting as they start to pay tribute to the team's history. No, not purple, but bear with me here. These uniforms are black. There is no chevron across the front, but Raptors is laid out as if there is a chevron there. The team's name is red with white trim, as is the player number. There is a trim around the collar on this one. It, it looks nice. It just sort of completes the look. And you will notice the subtle, subtle, subtle jagged pinstripes in the background of that uniform. That is a nod indeed to the team's original uniform worn from 1995 to 1999. So a good way to pay tribute to that uniform without necessarily using the large dinosaur across the front, which can be polarizing with some people. Back of the jersey, player's name is white. Number is red with white trim. The red icon and white association jerseys will be worn with the shorts that incorporate the chevron design into the right leg and also place the team's logo on the opposite side while the black statement uniform continues the jagged pinstripes all the way down. You'll also notice on that uh, black statement uniform there is a single red pinstripe down the side. The team's logo is at the bottom of the leg. There is also a maple leaf worn on the waistband of all the shorts. That is something the team has done for several seasons now. Finally, for the Raptors, they also made a bit of a change to their primary logo. You'll see there's a lot more red on this logo than before. It's just a straight color change. Everything else is the same. That basketball in the middle used to be silver. Now it's red. A lot more color to the team, and it makes sense for a team with a primarily red color scheme. Speaking of new logos, we have a couple of new alternate logos this season here. The Phoenix Suns with this fairly basic, it's a word mark, PHX, the city abbreviation in white and silver. And the Philadelphia 76ers with this pretty interesting logo, which features the city abbreviation PHILA arched in blue and red with the dissected snake underneath it. Now here's a logo that actually won't end up being used. Uh, the All-Star Game here, 2021. It was supposed to be held in Indianapolis. This was a logo they are going to use. The game unfortunately got cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic shortening the season. But this is what we would have seen for the 2021 All-Star Game had it been played this season. Well that's it for the full-time team-by-team changes. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a quick recap of the City and Earned Edition uniforms. We've done longer videos on these so check those out if you want a more detailed thing. But uh, Take a look at the new City and Earned Edition uniforms now for 2021. First, the City Edition uniforms. The Brooklyn Nets honoring uh, their Street Artist Series, the Celtics, their Championship Banner, Chicago, the City Architecture, Cleveland, Rock and Roll, Dallas, Pegasus, Denver, the Skyline Mountain, the last in that classic series. Detroit at once again, the Motor City, the Warriors honoring the City of Oakland, which they recently left, Houston, H-Town, those are the Houston Oilers colors from the NFL. Indiana going with a bit of a throwback. The Clippers, a black version of the uniform from last year. And the Miami Heat, the new Miami Vice jersey. Minnesota, the North Star. Milwaukee, the water of the Great Lakes. New Orleans, their city flag. Oklahoma is a state pride jersey. Orlando, the orange citrus, Orange County. And Philadelphia, Boathouse Row. 
Trailblazers honoring the state of Oregon, Sacramento, their franchise uniform history. San Antonio back to the Fiesta colors, the jazz, the black version of their Red Rock uniform. The Hawks there with the Martin Luther King jersey as well. The Charlotte Hornets going mint. LA Lakers honoring Elgin Baylor. Memphis Grizzlies, Isaac Hayes. The Suns, the Valley, Toronto Raptors, again with the Drake uniform. And the New York Knicks with Kith, the shoe design company, and the city that never sleeps uniform. Now moving on to the earned edition uniforms. These typically reserved for the playoff teams from the previous season. Don't know how the Suns and Spurs got in there. Who knows? These were all uh, leaked. These haven't been officially unveiled. Leaked by Twitter user OKC Tracker. We see the Thunder in there and the Suns with their retro-inspired uniform. How about the Jazz with that green jersey? Looks great. Don't know what Portland's doing. That's a grayscale version of their usual set. Moving on. Hey, look, the Toronto Raptors went purple. Wait till you see the full uniform. That chevron goes all the way down to the shorts. The Miami Heat going with a bumblebee look. That is yellow and black and nothing else. The Los Angeles Lakers, of course, of course, they were able to find a way to bring back the black uniform for this season. Good for them. Glad they were able to do that. Love that Orlando Magic uniform, too. That feels like it should be a full-time set for the Magic. Finally, the last group of six for this series. Houston Rockets going black, kind of basic. Denver Nuggets. I love it. It's a bit of a retro look going back to the original team color scheme. The Milwaukee Bucks. Look at that. The deer antlers going up the side. Boston Celtics bringing out the neon green that nobody asked for. And the Brooklyn Nets with a subway sign inspired design and that herringbone design from the court brought into the background of that uniform. That is your earned edition leaked uniform set for 2021. All right, there it is. You're all caught up. That's all the new logos and uniforms for the upcoming 21 NBA season. Impress your friends when you watch the game together virtually. Send them texts. Uh, and uh, please don't be afraid to subscribe to this channel. You get all more of this uh, uniform and logo news. And uh, check out sportslogos.net. Give us a thumbs up. All the YouTube things that uh, you know they keep telling you to do. Thanks so much for checking this out. And uh, let's go basketball.